good morning dear students as you all know that we are doing a grammar lesson that is tenses we did up till now the present tense and its four forms then we did in the second part the past tense and its four forms today we will do the future tense as i have already told you that future tense is the time that still has to come for example tomorrow tomorrow still has to come today is present and yesterday has become a past for us so today we will do the four forms of future tense that is a future indefinite you can call it simple future future continuous then future perfect and then the future perfect continuous tense first we will do the future indefinite or you can say the simple future in future indefinite tense the helping verb that we use they are will and shall plus first form plus first form of verb you can write it as v1 also where we can use this tense this tense is used for an action that has still to take place that still has to take place in the coming time for example i shall see him tomorrow then we come to the future continuous tense as far as future continuous tense is concerned here the work will remain continue in the coming time what we will use in future continuous tense will be shall be plus first form of verb so what is its use where we will use it it is used to express an action going on in future time for example they will be playing at that time the time has not yet come but we are presuming that they will be playing at that time this tense is also used to indicate our some future plan for example we shall be staying there for a week we have not gone there we have not still stayed there we are planning that we shall be staying there for a week then we come to the future perfect future perfect in future perfect what we use helping verbs are will have shall have plus third form of verb here the work will be completed here the work will have been completed because the time still has to come so what is its use it expresses an action that will be completed by certain time in future the time that still has to come for example i shall have reached goa by then i have not reached there i shall have reached goa by then in coming time then we come to the future perfect continuous tense future perfect continuous tense here will helping verbs are will have been shall have been shall have been 
plus V1, V1 stands for first form of verb plus ing. So, the helping verb will have been, shall have been plus V1 verb first form plus ing. Where we use this tense, it is used to express an action going on till some point in future time or for some period of time in the future. Here we have to use since and for both are the time makers. For example, by the next April, we shall have been leaving for USA. Another example you can take, we shall have been waiting for our friends for half an hour. So, here we have to keep in mind that for a duration of time, we use for and for a point of time, we use since. So, this was all about your future tense. Now, I may give you a tense chart that you have to cram with understanding so that you may be vigilant about this that which helping verb and which form of verb you have to use in which tense. That is tense chart. In nutshell, I am giving you, here we can take the present, then here we can take simple present or indefinite, then continuous, then perfect. perfect and then perfect continuous. These are the four forms in all the tenses. Present indefinite, present continuous, present perfect, past perfect continuous. Then likewise in the past tense also past indefinite, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Then future, future indefinite, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Now what you have to learn, I told you that mainly in tenses, three type of sentences you have to keep in mind. Simple sentences, negative sentences and interrogative sentences. In simple sentences, I am writing only S. Yes. In simple sentences, we have to use first form, first form. Then in negative and interrogative, what we use? Do, does, plus first form. Keep in mind that in simple sentences where only there is the statement, we use only the first form. But in negative, and interrogative sentences, we use do, does, plus, first form of verb. Here one thing you have to keep in mind, third person singular number. Third person singular number, they are he, she and it. They take S or Yes, they take S R E S. This is the exemption here. For example, I go. This is a simple sentence. In negative sentence, I do not go. In interrogative sentence, do I go? But when I use he, I will not say he go. What I will say? He she goes, goes. With first form, we have to add 
S R E S. Then we come to the continuous. In present continuous, you have to keep in mind helping verb is R M plus first form plus I N G. Just I have taken the example. I go, what it will become? I am going in present continuous tense. Then we come to the present perfect. In present perfect, the helping verbs are has, have, plus third form. What I will say? I have. gone go went gone third form i have gone then in present perfect continuous tense has been have been plus first form plus ing here the work is still continued for hours or for a particular point of time so i can say i have been going there for 2 hours I have been going there since morning then we come to the past tense this was a helping verbs and the verb form in present tense now we come to the past tense in past tense in simple sentences we simply have to use the second form second form of verb in simple sentences in negative and interrogative sentences what we use did plus first form don't forget that in simple sentences we use a second form but in negative and interrogative sentences where we use did we have to use the first form of the verb for example in simple sentence i say i went but in interrogative and negative i have to use did and the first form i did not go in interrogative did i go and at the end i have to use the question mark then we come to the past continuous tense in past continuous tense helping verbs are was were plus first form plus ing here the work is work was in continuation the sentence will become i was going then the perfect tense where the work is completed here only one helping verb with all the persons that is had plus third form third form of verb what the sentence will become i had gone i had gone because the work here has had completed then in the past perfect continuous tense only one helping verb had been plus first form plus ing so the sentence will become i had been going there for 2 hours so this was our past tense now we come to the future in future tense the time still has to come in future indefinite what we will use we will use will 
आर शेल प्लस फर्स्ट फॉर्म आवर सेंटेंस विच वी हैव टेकन एज एग्जाम्पल वट दैट विल बिकम आई शेल गो देन इन फ्यूचर कॉन्टिन्यूस द हेल्पिंग वर्ब्स आर will be shall be plus first form plus ing i shall be going i shall be going this uh, future continuous tense then in the future perfect helping verbs are will have then shall have plus third form of verb here our example will become i shall have gone third form go went gone then we come to the future perfect continuous tense here the helping verbs are will have been shall have been plus first form plus ing i shall have been going there since morning so this was the tense chart in nutshell learn where we have to use which form and which helping verb now whatever we have done till now about tenses that was the base of your grammar as far as your examination is concerned there there will be no question what is tense what are the forms of tense are which helping verb is used where this you have to keep in mind while doing the integrated grammar exercises how you have to prepare this lesson in your exam the question may come in the form of gap filling the question may come in the form of gap filling here the options may be given or may not be given suppose i am taking a lesson uh, i am taking a sentence sorry our sentence is he dash fare walk daily this is a simple gap filling what i have taken he dash fare walk daily you have to conclude yourself when the word daily is used it is a present tense and in present tense i have told you that third person singular number take s r e s so what is the proper verb which we have to fill here that he goes for a walk daily this is a correct sentence you have to fill goes suppose blank is given the options are given gap filling can be without option are with option here the options are given went go gone goes now again and revise the tense chart and recall that third person in singular number takes s r e s as it is the present indefinite tense it is the daily habit so we have to use a present tense 
and the word will come goes goes will be accurate this is a way as far as the second way is concerned this i have told you the gap filling it may come in the form of error also when i use a word error this sentence suppose i write he go for a walk daily again i know that this is a present tense but here i have to find the error in this sentence the error is go because third person singular number take s r e s so we have to write the error on the given space and then we have to write the correction goes this was the second way then it may come in the form of omission also omission omission here means the word is omitted the word is not there how the sentence will be there he for a walk daily so we have to find out that which word is omitted here i am concerned with the tenses that's why i am telling you only the tenses the error or omission may be of determiners may be of preposition may be of conjunction may be of tense from all the angles you have to be particular about it while finding the omission so here the verb is omitted here the word is omitted so our omission is he goes for a walk daily the fourth form can be the reordering or rearranging reordering in reordering the words are intermingled they are not given in this form suppose walk daily he goes far the words are intermingled then you have while reordering first of all you have to take subject then you have to take verb and then you have to take the object so that was all that i have told you how you have to prepare the lesson as far as your examination is concerned thank you have a nice